now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. From the rapidly increasingly more infected New York City on the East Coast, this is the Ramble. And I'm Alex Bennett. Mm-hmm. Out to the other coast of the United States of America, where I can't even visit Larry Bubbles Brown. Because <laughs> I, I'm not getting on a goddamn airplane, are you? I would not get on simply because I I can't wear a mask for 20 minutes without feeling overheated. And uh, so I that's the only reason I'd not get on a plane now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I just, I can't stand it. Uh, the idea of getting on a plane, I, I think it's suicide. Well, they're saying that the, this is what they're claiming. Their air is filtered and it's cleaner than being in a department store. Well, <laughs> that's not saying much. No. Yeah, I mean, uh, is it is it cleaner than me staying at home? No. <laughs> no. I know what the air is here. I even went out and bought air purifiers. But I didn't buy them because of corona. I bought them because I, you know... Just wanted to be able to uh, 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 get some clean, fresh air in here uh, since we're indoors all the time. But I'm just tired all the time. Like right now, I'm dog tired. I talk to you and I get lightheaded, you know? I was lightheaded this morning myself. Really? Yeah. Do you think it has something to do with being indoors all this time? Yeah, you're getting bad air and then out here we're getting... We're choking on smoke. So. Yeah, but then I go for a walk, and I'm a little better, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so how are things going out in California? Oh, we're just continuing. <laughs> we have a now a regular burn season, I guess. It's just on fire like crazy out here. So they're evacuating people up in Santa Rosa and St. Helena. And... Well, of course, there's nothing to burn in San Francisco, right? I guess we're all concrete. Yeah. I mean, I guess you've got Golden Gate Park. Yeah. It just uh, We just get the smoke, so that's all we worry about. Yeah. And the the air is really, like, dangerously bad in some parts. Oh, boy. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just it'll get lightheaded. I sit here and I talk, and I, I get lightheaded from talking. It's weird. It's just weird. Um, well, you sound fine. Do I sound fine? I think I your look. Voice like, sounds, your voice sounds. One of the age indicators, I think, is you listen to someone's voice as they grow older, and your voice yeah. is still strong. Yeah. Well, I. Uh, um, uh, they they had on TV today this General McMaster's who was with uh, with Trump, and they were interviewing him. And I was trying to not watch television because I think maybe part of my lightheadedness has to do with vision, and uh, so I'm I have my eyes closed, and he's on, and I'm going. He's a general. He sounds like a kid. And then I look at him, and he's an old guy. But he's got mm. this really young voice. That's rare. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can hear the change in my voice if I go back and listen to a recording. Uh, oh, say, uh, well, not, not Live 105. Prior to that, New York. Uh, I can hear a difference, you know. But it's not like I'm not talking like this. Yeah, but that, when you're younger, your voice is a little higher. That may have something to do, though, with the fact that I'm always using my voice, and so therefore I'm exercising it. Could that be? That, that could be sure. Does that make sense? You've but, got strong vocal cords. Vocal cords like ox. Yeah, I know some people. Uh, told, one there was a woman once that told me she couldn't do stand up because she looked. <laughs> The, t- the talking made her tired after about all she could do was 20 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, I find right now with the way I'm feeling, if I start talking, I get lightheaded. 
you know, and I, I'm, uh, I don't have any heart problems because I'm not getting chest pains or anything like that. It's just this absolute overwhelming fatigue, I guess. I mean, I did have all that radiation about six months ago, but I, I should not be feeling it worse now. But who knows? No. You know, I mean, it could be that that's causing the problem. So that could be uh, somewhat mental too. It's a, been such a crappy year. Yes, it has been a crappy year. Uh, I mean, this has been just the weirdest year, hasn't it? Well, I just wonder what we have in store for it. Well, it doesn't look like it's getting any better. No. You know, uh, Texas is about to surpass New Jersey as having the most deaths from COVID. Wow. And you know what they're doing down there to curb COVID? Not a goddamn thing. I mean, that governor's (laughs) killing people. (laughs) Meanwhile, we got a governor here who's trying to save lives, but we've got problems here in New York now. We've had an upsurge in uh, in uh, cases, Uh, and it has to do with the Hasidic Jews who don't wear masks. You know. Uh, oh really? Yeah, wow. they won't wear masks. They were they, they're they're resistant to wearing masks. So they're you know I mean so we're going to wipe out the entire diamond business. Uh, you know, but your numbers aren't nearly what they were. Oh no, we're still like here in New York City with Brooklyn added into it, which is the infection point. We're at like one point two, but we for about a month and a half we were under one percent uh, infection rate which is very good you know it was the best in the country and uh, it still is if you take out the brooklyn numbers uh we are still uh i think something like uh one point nine five or something like that so you know i mean i feel safer here than if i were in san francisco I don't know what yeah, you're, think, what uh, you're, what you're, what you're, our numbers are fairly low. Uh, yeah. But I remember uh, when this thing started, it looked, New York City, it, it did look like it was the end of the world and the hospitals were packed. And... Well, you know, I'll tell you how time flies when you're not having fun. I'm going to say something and then it's going to depress you. Okay. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Um, I was looking online at some stuff, right? Uh, You know what happened a year ago on October 4th? October 4th, uh, let's see, I was in L.A. I remember Durst had a stroke. That's it. You you got it. Yeah, okay. Wow, your memory is just, it's, it's amazing. Well, not to use. I'm surprised I remember that. The, the remember old stuff, but I usually don't remember things that are fairly current. Yeah. Well, he got he he had his stroke a year ago on the fourth of October. Yeah. That's God. A, you know. I but I thought it was like just yesterday. You know. Oh yeah, I can't believe a year's gone by. And he hasn't made much progress. Yeah. Well, they haven't been able to give him much rehab because they cut all that out. Because of COVID. Yeah. But now they're back to it and they've got, she writes that his arm is working a little bit, you know, they, they're working on getting his right leg to go. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a year later, you know, I mean, I, 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 I just so feel for him and feel so bad for her, Debbie, his wife. Uh, you know, he's a really nice, great people and it's a shame to see it. I know. I just hope he can come back. You know, I mean, you hear about somebody dying and you go, oh, my God, so-and-so died. Uh, and then you get on with your life and, and they get on with theirs in a strange way. Uh, but when you have a stroke like this, I mean, it just, you're alive, but you're not. You know, it, it's it's really strange, and I you know I feel so badly for them because uh, there's something that in comedy always bothered me, and that was is that you guys never formed a union. 
And the reason you needed to form a union wasn't to get better wages. It was so that as a group you could get medical insurance. Right. And comedians don't have medical insurance. No, they tried. Uh, it was on the East Coast in the uh, around '88. The professional, the PCA, Professional Comics Association. I, th- I thought it was a great idea, but it didn't catch on. And they were trying to do the exactly things you said: get medical and. Uh, well, I'm so, com- uh, comedians rejected it because oh, we don't have to have a union. We don't need a union. Well, yes, you do because you don't have a medical plan. And, exactly. And yeah. unless unless you, you become Richard Pryor or unless you become a big major star, you're not going to have hospital insurance. You know? Even the actors are smart enough to get the Screen Actors Guild. Well, the that, comics are too... Uh, yeah, but the Screen Actors two Guild... The, two for themselves. And... SAG-AFTRA has just fucked us over. Yeah, you. I was going to look into that. You said something about the... Uh... Forget it. They did away with it. Wow. They did away with it. They told us uh, in, uh, was it August? That starting the first of the year, you're going to have to go with, uh, you know, other plans. You can't use our plan. We're, we're, and then they sent us over to somebody called Via Benefits, who told us how we could better utilize uh, getting our supplemental insurance. So my insurance is now going to go up. For the two of us, we were paying about $500 every three months okay now that same number i would say will be at least three to four times that holy shit yeah i mean between marjorie and i we're gonna have to pay about 800 bucks a month but luckily her employer is going to pay for it uh but the minute she no longer wants to work we have to start paying for it and they just abandon people and this, the, 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 let me give you a good example, okay? Here's what they did. They said uh, they have, you know, if you're a regular actor, you have to make now $35,000 a year in order to qualify for the health insurance that they have. This is if you're under 65, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, that, okay. And so if you're a working actor, I guess you'll make 35000 without breathing heavy, except... There's a COVID crisis right now, and no actors are working. Okay? That's for starters. Then with the seniors, they said that um, uh, if, you were, if you were taking your pension, then you couldn't somehow get into their other plan. So you had to go and find your own. Okay? So, uh, uh, oh, oh, I know what it was. The, your residuals went towards how much money you made in a given year. So let's say you're James Earl Jones. Okay, all the commercials he did, all the voiceovers he did, the, you know, he probably still gets a Star Wars check, you know. He probably makes $35,000 a year off residuals alone, at least. Okay. Now, all of a sudden they said, if you're taking your pension which I'm sure James Earl Jones is, because all of us, as soon as it was pension time with the union, we started taking our pension. If you take your pension, your residuals won't count towards the $35,000. So now James Earl Jones, as an example, has no insurance. God, is the uh, is the union in trouble? <laughs> it sounds like they're trying the to get union, everybody The off union the roll. said, they "Oh, are. this was costing us too much money. In three years, we would have gone broke with it, or something like that." But in it, three it, years? it was also God. mismanagement on their part. They could have, in negotiating new contracts and so on, included provisions to increase the amount of money going into the welfare and pension fund and so on, health. Uh, but they didn't. It was I've bad. I've heard management. that they've for a long time been very badly managed yeah well this is proof of it and now you've got all these people all these actors have been working for years you know who are now screwed there's a guy by the name of norman lloyd he's 105 years old he's the oldest actor alive all right he just got thrown off his uh, health benefits (laughs) you're ready for that one 105 He's 105, yeah. He's the guy in Saboteur, 
who was hanging from the Statue of Liberty uh, as Robert Cummings is trying to save him and his he's holding him by his sleeve and the sleeve starts coming undone and then he goes flying. Well, that, that was Norman Lloyd, in case okay. people want to know. But anyway, uh, hey, listen, we've run out of time already. Yeah, this is actually, I like that. That was interesting, all the depressing. <laughs> yeah, depressing, yeah, but our union, fuck them. You know, <laughs> hey, uh, this, we have a poster. It goes, it says, "Old lives matter," <laughs> and it says, "Give us our pension, our welfare, our health back." Sag after. Yeah. Well, I hope there's some blowback on this. Well, we're trying. We're trying. Anyway, talk to you next week. You got it, Alex. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, okay. What? Oh, the, uh, what? What am I? Oh, I see. I'm wonder, I wonder what the noise was. I don't know if you can hear it. That's my air purifier. And I didn't turn on the air conditioner, and it's starting to get toasty in here. Well, if I need to, I'll I'll go over there in, in a while. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're trying to uh, do some things here. I'm trying to see why I don't have something here, but. Everything, there's always something going wrong here, and then it obsesses me, okay? Which is, is really quite wrong. Anyway, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to uh, uh, deal with it somehow here. My trash isn't empty. Okay, what the hell? Anyway, uh, always something goes wrong just before we're going to do the show. Let me, hold on a second. You're going to see an empty spot here. Let me go grab the air conditioner. Oh man, it gets. I, I think that just when I think it's winter enough, okay. Oh, see, I'm wearing my uh, my sh- my shorts. I, I, you know, I don't have to dress below the waist. Lucky I'm not even naked, you know. But uh, let me turn on the air conditioner. There we go. The reason I didn't turn it on is it's getting cool now, and it was pretty cool in the house. And then I close the door here, and all this equipment puts out with a lot of heat so you know it was time for us to um to do something about it anyway listen uh let me uh, we only have one person waiting to come into the show tonight hmm suspicious but you know we'll uh we'll we'll labor on as we as we can hello there charlie wallace you're always there Hi. waiting for me and i appreciate that I'm the yeah. only one? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there. There. My trash just emptied. You hear that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> I always get obsessed by something that isn't working here, you know? Anyway, it gets really hot in here, so I had to turn on the air conditioner, so everybody got to see me in my, in my, in my shorts. Uh, let's see here. Who is this? Uh, uh, m- music Bill123? Now, that, I, I, I'm... I'm thinking that that's got to be John Larkin, but it might not be. Uh, who is this? Are you there? Music Bill 123? Are you there? Or am I yes. going to... Oh, uh, who is this? Music Bill. Yeah, we don't have video on you, Music Bill. Why don't you turn on your well, camera? I can't. You can't turn on your camera? Right. Well, then I might get rid of you because I would like to have you have a camera on so we can see you. This is a visual yes, show. Yes, no camera. You don't own a camera or it's not right. working? I don't own a camera. You don't own a camera. Oh, right. Boy. Well, that's going to make it a little rough, but we'll, we'll keep you on for a while. And if it becomes difficult, we'll, we'll uh, ditch you. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Jeff Stein, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Jeff. Okay, is your mic on, Jeff? Let's just make sure your mic's on, okay? Is it on? I think it's on. No, it isn't, Jeff. Um, unmute your mic. Yeah, that's it. Hey, there Thank we go. You. Yeah, you've got this down pretty well. Music yeah. Bill, one, two, three. Is there, a, is there another name for you, or do you want us to call you Music Bill? Music Bill. Okay, and and uh, where are you calling from, Music Bill? Uh, Northern California. 
Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, this is going to be a little rough, Bill, so I'm going to have to get rid of you, okay? I'm sorry, you know. Uh, I watch every night. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad you do. And if you watch, you know, this is really, we have a lot of people on here visually. And it, it, I'll, I'll keep you here uh, until it gets difficult, okay? Uh, and just join in whenever you, whenever you want to. Uh, let me see here. This is, this is it so far tonight? Man, oh, man. Um, oh, well, I, I, I'll just uh, soldier on. Uh, how you doing there, Charlie, in uh, Texas? Uh, what, what's oh, it like? We're, we're coming up. We're only 30 behind uh, New Jersey in uh, deaths. Oh, COVID really? Deaths. Oh, well, so you should be able to. We'll probably pass. you probably be able to do that in a day, huh? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow we should do it. And isn't it, but it, in Texas, have they done any mitigation at all? I mean, have they, have they said wear masks, don't go in, uh, uh, restaurants they, they, can't open? What? They finally, they finally, uh, decided to say they haven't mandated it but they've recommended that people wear masks the people wear masks but nobody uh, wear masks yeah but uh, the people wear masks but yeah. how about restaurants bars uh, well restaurants can uh op be open with uh i believe it's 50 percent might be only 25 but I think i'd say with the death rate you got it should be 25 percent. but i don't yeah, think they be. i don't think they should even do it yet no, they really shouldn't. You know, because we were doing great before he opened up the state in uh, May May first. Yeah, and that's when things start taking off here. Yeah, yeah, because uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, your state has got uh, you know, I mean, if if they're about to beat uh, um, uh, 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 New Jersey in deaths, yep. then they you've got a serious problem there that has to be attended to, like they did in New Jersey. Which yeah, is, doing you know, we're we're starting to have a problem here. Uh, uh, it, 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 the uh, we're we're our, our own. Oh, well, we've just lost uh, music. Bill, uh, <laughs> it I guess was it, me. It was me. It was you. Yes, Brian Neary. Now, Brian, a secret. No, the thing is that um, we uh, our problem is is that we have. I think he calls it 20 zip codes out of something like 170, uh, 1,700 zip codes or something like that in New York State that are causing the problem. And so it's a 1.5 uh, testing positive, which is high. We like to be under one. And we have been for a long time until the uh, Orthodox Jews out in Brooklyn became infected. And now... We got a problem, you know. It's getting it's getting pretty crappy, uh, and um, uh, they're all out there. And they showed them out there. They said, "And here is uh, I was William. What's what's the area? Do you remember what it is, Jeff? The Williamsburg or what's the what's name the of the area, area where the where the Orthodox what? Jews live? Yeah, Williamsburg. No, that's that's not where it is. No, no, not it's Williamsburg. Not. Okay. Well, anyway, it's out in Brooklyn. Uh, and these guys, uh, they showed a, a, they said, and uh, Orthodox Jews, and they showed them on the street, and none of them are wearing masks. Other people are wearing masks, but none of those, the Jews. And you go, you know, um, so, yes. yeah. Plus, they must be going to synagogue, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. In the last week? Listen, I got to tell you something. Charlene, you're really an idiot. She writes here, is there a link here for Zoom? Yes. If you look right down, it says video version of Alex Bennett's ramble with the citizen panel. Zoom us at, and then you click on that. Yes. Look, Charlene. But as long once you find it, don't call us, okay? Anyway. Just click on everything. Yeah, yeah. Just click on everything on the page. Yeah. Park Slope? No. It's Williams. It's Williamsburg. Yeah. Uh, and and it, you know I mean they're they're idiots and they they've caused it to go up and then there's some places over in Rockland County I think yes that, yes that's in I heard area, that where where they're having a, a spike in other words uh, these are spikes but they don't want them to turn into full blown yeah. infections 
So it's it's getting you know we're we're and we're careful here. We're really we, I think what was it he had yesterday? He said, a hundred and twenty. 120,000 tests yesterday we did in New York City, New York State. Um, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, that's a lot. But at you least it gives us an idea, you know, of what's happening. So, anyway. You heard the news tonight, right? Huh? You heard the news tonight? Yes, I was going to mention that. Okay. There's a Just kind of, sure. there's a semi-smile on my face, I, I, as it would be, I think, for all of you. Hope Hicks, who is what the closest person oh. to the president, yeah. okay, yes. uh, uh, is infected. And yes. everybody loves the hug and kiss. You know, we're all so close. You were all so close, and <clears throat> you know, he especially is hot for Hope Hicks. You know, and yeah. and and Hope uh, Hicks uh, um, turns out she's got COVID, <laughs> which means the president is in danger of having COVID. Yep. Uh, oh, I'm so sad. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, what happens? Let's say he gets COVID. And let's say he winds up in the hospital. Let's say he gets intubated. Okay? Now, we know when you're intubated, only about 20% of the people who are intubated ever come out of intubation. They usually go straight to heaven or hell in, in, in Trump's case. What happens if he gets intubated? What happens to this election? I mean, they printed the ballots up already. You know, we've mailed them out. That's right. <laughs> yep. They've had, they've had other, other people already. There voted. have been other dead people that have won elections, right? Yep. <laughs> there are. Yes. Yes. Um, gee, do you think he could possibly win if he died? You know, a, a kind of a sympathy I might vote. vote. For him if he's dead. If he's dead, you'd vote for him. Well, then you get yeah. pants. You don't want that. You know, hey, hey, you may not have Pence. I mean, those those guys. They, they say since they, Wednesday, yesterday was when she was tested or, or got yeah. positive. That that test may go back as far as Monday. Mm -hmm. and, you know, Tuesday they're all lovey dovey. So yeah, you know, yeah, that, that, that. could wipe all of them out, and then Bidens are the only people left anyway. So yeah, what 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 was Charlene? <laughs> what, it, 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 we have a no mask policy on this show, especially since you're calling from home, and you can't fi Alice, and you can't I, fig I, and you can't figure out the Zoom link, even though it's right under the. the no, I had the, to go to like gabnet.net. No, on all my you phone. had to do on the page you were watching it. It says video. Well, I didn't see it. I don't know, but I have like a real bad OCD thing, and I can't. You know, I don't want anyone to. See, I have like an OCD thing. So don't don't make me worse. <laughs> what do you mean an That's OCD? What are you, what, are you, what are you what are you OCDing for? What what's a, a, a oh that's why you have the mask on? Yeah, it's like a weird thing. I don't know. I, I think I need to see a psychiatrist. Listen, for some it, of like us now. are improved by the use of a mask. Okay, we become yeah, more well, attractive. Yeah, well, it could be that's what's making my face break out, but I don't yeah. know. So you know. But I have to keep this like this sort of. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> while I wasn't looking, Tony snuck in. Yeah, hi Tony. How are mm -hmm. you? And Bree is there. I got a haircut today. Hey, good. Bree's there, uh, and I guess he hasn't got his camera on yet. You know, uh, he's letting us wait in suspense. Oh, there he is! Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, he's not Alex. Yeah. Alex. Doing it yourself? No, no DUI tonight. Yeah. yeah. Alex. I, I saw like PTL club just before you came on. By the on. way, if you're going to wear that, mm -hmm. wear it over your nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't do yeah, anybody. I, I'm not in a crowd. That doesn't do anybody I'm any not in good. I'm crowd. I'm here by myself. No, but Jim Baker was on, and and it was oh my god, it was weird. You know, remember you and uh, come on, everybody Patrick put their mask on. That. We don't want to catch anything yeah. from anybody. The the uh, the PTL club, yeah. like they had a black guy on that wrote mm -hmm. a book. Like he's a minister, mm -hmm. and he has him and Trump on the cover. Yeah. And they're trying to say Black Lives Matter, like black people don't even like Black Lives Matter or something. It was the craziest thing. And there's a new Tammy Faye Baker with Jim Baker. This like Nancy Grace looking blonde. It was crazy. Like I don't I don't know. I never watched that. But okay. Well, you're on. making me dizzy with this discussion. Okay. Anyway, I can't I I can't do the show with this on. I'm sorry. I'm... I know. I it's hard for me too. But... Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I don't know why you have it on. You just, you know. No, it's terrible. You know, d don't. Harass but but looking, at you would be me, looking at you would be worse. Looking at you would be worse. So will go even higher. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not All a right. hand All washing right. thing. Uh, okay, calm down, calm down. We got a lot of show left for you to talk in. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Tony, how how uh, is mom staying safe from the coronavirus? Because you know you live out in the Queens, and there's a little bit. Of, are you in one of the zip codes? Uh, no, I'm not in the zip code. I'm huh? not in the zip code. But uh, these are you know, 20 zip codes that are. Yeah, being, I, I, yeah. I'm not far from it, but I know. I think it's in. Is it in Williamsburg? I think it's it's by the Hasidics, really. So it's probably in Williamsburg. Oh, it's oh, 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 it's near Will, You're near near Williamsburg. I can get to Williamsburg, Alex. <laughs> Actually, the other night I sent check your picture. I went to the bakery. I was near Grand Street. My brother and sister went there. I could be in here in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, well, you go so over there. Really get yourself some <laughs> gefilte fish. Get yourself some matzah <laughs> and get yourself some COVID. You okay. Know, when I was a kid, you know what I used to do? There was a comic store, Grand Book Comic on Grand Street in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I used to take my bike from my house. But I never told my mother, but she knew I did it. And I would bike over to Brooklyn and I would hang out at the store and buy books. And I would come back home with my book, my backpack with it. But that was like, she didn't like it because it was a rough area at the time. Oh, really? Back in the back in the 80s, Brooklyn was really kind of tough. Yeah. Like you didn't want to be there during the night. Yeah, yeah. But now well, it's like, it's like got built up a lot. It's like mini Manhattan. Yeah, Charlene, she has her hand up. What do you want? Oh, sorry. Now, I'm in Jersey, and Lakewood is it's far from me. But there's a lot of Hasidic Jews in Lakewood, and they just announced today that the COVID is spiking in Lakewood and probably because of the Hasidic Jews. Yeah, well, they can pray and everything will be fine. I, guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I hate to, like, the my being racist. No yeah. uh, I mean, you know I'm a I'm Alex, yeah. okay. so am I being, like, racist if I, yeah. I'm, you know, I, I hate to say that about the Hasidic Jews, but they are escalating. Say anything COVID, you want right? about the Hasidic Jews. They're terrible people. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and, and our landlords are that way. So I should be nicer to them, but you know, I mean, uh, you go down. Uh, there are parts. Uh, some of them are pretty nasty, you know. Am I right, Jeff? You know what I'm talking about. I know. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 but uh, anyway, uh, but we wish them well, and we hope they don't get anything, and <clears throat> we especially hope they don't give it to us. Our our governor Cuomo, I love because he says things in just the right way. Yesterday, he was uh, giving a little talk about how uh, the police don't like to tell people to wear masks uh, oh, because, uh, it, it, you know, it, 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 it makes the, the policemen uh, unpopular. They don't like, they have an, get an attitude. And he said, well, you know, they, they may not appreciate it now, but they'll appreciate it when they're dead. <laughs> That's how he put it. I mean, he's... He, yeah. yeah. I like a direct. Huh? He gives a nice direct. What I love about suggestion. Cuomo, he is so... Am I right, Tony? He's so New yeah, York. Yeah, it's kind of like he's, one of my old friends. He's, he's like, so New York. I want to punch you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. where? Like, yeah. You really yeah. want to deal with this yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah earlier about. on, he's, on, he says, it. politicians <laughs> don't want to offend anybody. Well, you know, he said, oh, uh, I don't care if I offend people. <laughs> Wear a mask. Yeah. His mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just had to go. His mom has to poop or something. Hmm. By the way, in case you just joined us, folks, and oh boy, look at me. I'm moraying. See this? That's what yeah. they call moraying. Ooh, I better cover That's... this up. Um, I, I said to myself, I better not wear this shirt tonight because it might moray. And and sure enough, it did. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't look that bad. That, doesn't it's look that bad? Mm. Well, anyway. I look like a bad test pattern. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I love I love Cuomo because he's he's so you know in your face about all this stuff. Uh, he's really he's really great. He's really terrific. There's, uh, there's other big news out of Texas too. Mm -hmm. What they uh, they talked about on CNN tonight. They said that the the governor wanted to take away all the the mail the 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 walk up yeah. ballot. Places, so they can only have one per county. One per county. So one one drop-off box per county. What? In Texas? Harris yes. County has four million people, and they get one drop-off. So they're not going to fit in there. They're going to start pulling them out right now. <laughs> well, can they can they mail them in? 
Yeah, they can mail them, man. Yeah, but, but you know, but I think there's a huge percentage of people that like to go drop them off, like I do. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, Marjorie wants to actually have us go down and and go vote. You know, at the uh, at, at the precinct. In the past, they've had as many as eleven or twelve in per county when there were weren't hardly anybody voting by mail. Wait a minute, I'll show you something. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, these guys are just assholes. There they are, folks. I scored two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I have four more coming, so I'll be able to vote oh, any number of times and, Was it and the then right drop address, some of them in Alex? a garbage can somewhere so Trump can say wh wh how phony everything is. No, this is... Um, Alex, did you get your neighbor's ballot? Like no. inside? These are, these are our ballots right here. Yeah, because I have mine in New Jersey, and they were correct. Yeah, well, they, these the are correct, one. too, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, they, it, it, I can't remember. They went out to a certain area of the town uh, where they... And all it was, what was wrong, I think, was... Uh, what, what were the names on the ballots, right? When you got inside, it was somebody yeah. else's ballot inside. Oh, really? Something. Oh, okay. No, the envelope. The envelope. Well, let me let me make yeah, sure. Let me well let, let me see here. I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it's okay. Um, but I don't want to rip too much here because uh, let me see here. Here it is. Uh, there's my ballot, official absentee ballot envelope. So what you have to do is you have to put the ballot in the envelope, then the envelope in in this and one. Right, yeah, yeah. and uh, you have to. Uh, uh, here, here we go. Uh, here are the people. Uh, wait a minute. Is this for the presidency? No, maybe it's not. Maybe this is. This looks like it's for uh, j justices of the Supreme Court. Oh, this isn't. Uh, this is just a. a this is. A, a, oh wait a minute. Here's the other side. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Joseph R. Biden and Kamala D. Harris and Donald J. Trump and Donald J. Trump and Joseph R. Biden and Howie Hawkins, Green Party. In case you don't know, I never heard of Howie Hawkins, but he sounds like a hell of a nice guy, doesn't he? <laughs> and uh, Joe Jorgensen, uh, a libertarian. And the Independence Party, Brock Pierce. And uh, then the representative for Congress, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, um and uh, let's see here, Democratic, Brian Benjamin, Oz Sullivan, okay, all right, well, anyway, that's our, we got our ballots, and I believe it's ours, uh, let me see if it has, where would it have my name on it, uh, at the top or someplace, no, it has, and it says instructions, and, um, uh, but it doesn't, how, how do they know it's mine? Mm. That's the end of the return address on the one. Oh, here there. I have to sign it there. Oh, you okay. do it. Signature of a voter, and uh, I guess I have to date it. All right, and uh, then I put this in there and this in here, and then I can mail. Oh, and then the barcode in a certain area has a barcode. Yeah. So I imagine this is mine. You know, if it isn't, well, too bad. <laughs> Let me go put this back with. I left it for Marjorie so she could, uh, you know. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that for my mother because yeah, so I'm not gonna take her into so school. So anyway, so I don't know though. But she says she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to vote. She wants to vote in person. So oh, okay. I guess we could. I told her. She <laughs> said, "Well, you know, if we do don't do it that way, um, uh, maybe it won't get counted or whatever." And I said, no big deal. I said, we live in New York. You know, I mean, how bad can it get? Oh, hey, Adrian. Huh? Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. she is. Oh, she's such. Yeah. You know something? You're a ham. You know what a ham is? No. You know what a ham is? No. no. That's somebody who acts up a lot. Like you do, makes makes faces and funny things with her arms, and acts like she's a yoga instructor. <laughs> okay, say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> my the, my theater. Oh, no, uh, George Burns. Say goodnight, Gracie. Yeah. Yeah. My George theater uh, professor in college used to call it a mugger. 
like you're a mugger for the you know mm. you used to say you hated muggers or something yeah you got yeah, mug for the yeah, camera yeah mm. but uh she i don't uh, think you like me either like you don't like me alex huh <laughs> no not really my theater no. professor <laughs> Anyway, he used to roll his own cigarettes. Where <laughs> are people? We we haven't we've been getting a very light crowd this week. Is there a reason for that? Do I, my breath smell bad? Robert, uh, I don't know what happened well, to Robert. Yeah, he just dropped off. The well, no. Is uh, that the guy from New Jersey? Can I answer the question, Charlene? <laughs> sorry, sorry. There's a thing on there called mute. Try it sometime. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, I. Um, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say because you interrupted me. Robert. Robert. I, I, Robert wrote me the other day and said that he wasn't going to be on for a couple of days. This was last week because uh, yeah. they had a death in the family. Oh. Uh, a sister-in-law. Will you stop it, Charlene? You don't have to say something for everything, okay? It's <laughs> annoying. It really is. Um, anyway. Uh, and uh, so I told him, oh, I, well, he said, I hope, hope to see you back again on Tuesday. And he wasn't here Tuesday and he wasn't here Wednesday. And I wrote him yesterday, sent him a message on Facebook to see if he was okay. And um, um, I haven't heard back from him. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea what's happened, you know. Then I was supposed to have Stephen Pearl on, you know, do one of my little things with Stephen Pearl. And he's going through an eviction problem in Las Vegas. He's in a gated community, and they locked him out of the gate. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Me too. So anyway. I, That's where he lives. I, 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 yeah. No, never move into a gated community. They can always keep the gates work both ways, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Anyway. So what are we going to do about Hope Hicks? She's, uh, you know, she's got the COVID. Gosh, I hope she's okay. I, you know, this distresses me greatly. Does anybody believe that? Did, but, I, do, did I do a good <laughs> enough acting job? But, but even if she is, you know, she's she's younger. She's probably, she's seen, you know, I don't think, I don't know if she has any underlying conditions, but, you know, spreading it to that crowd, mm -hmm. like you used to always say about how, how Trump is. Trump's not the most healthy you know, person, and something could happen, you know. Yeah, what happened to Bree? Bree was here. Yeah, he dropped yeah. off. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't even stick around, did he? No. He was in there for a second. Yeah. Bree, call back. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, Zim said, where's Robert? Miss Robert. Yeah, well, we do too. I hope he's okay. You know, when I write somebody and I don't hear back from them, you know, I begin to wonder. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. I, th I think a lot of people are exhausted <laughs> from Monday night. From Monday night? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, I think they may have been. You know, I mean, um, that was a pretty exhausting thing. Today, I hear a lot of things here and there where people are complaining, well, you know, mm -hmm. the trouble with Biden was he shouldn't have told the president to shut up. <laughs> yeah, I, and my feeling is I've been waiting for somebody to tell yeah. him to shut up. Yeah. You know, I've been waiting for someone to call him a clown. Yes, he is the president of the United States, but I got to tell you that just because you're president of the United States doesn't give you automatic uh, 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 dispensation. OK, uh, that all, uh, automatically people have to respect you because you're the president. I mean, this man does not deserve my respect. OK, that's it. Plain and simple. So I made my case. That's it. Uh, I agree with you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, but what are we going to do if, if some if Trump comes down with covid? That's going to be an interesting that that would be this a frosting on the cake in a rather weird year, you know. He sure can't make a lot of traveling <laughs> trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, and, and I don't think I'd be. I mean, I don't think I'd be happy to be watching any of the other debates for the presidential. But the vice president, I think, is going to be a very interesting debate. The, the mm. vice presidential debate probably will be because uh, it depends no matter how much you dislike him you know, for political reasons. 
and because he's a toady to Trump, he still is a, a much more dignified person than Trump. And of course, Kamala Harris is the same way. And I think they'll probably, they, and they, they've already kind of been put on notice after what happened the other night that maybe they better not act up. You know? Right. And the president says he does. He won't go into a debate if he if they're going to cut his mic. Good. <laughs> you know, I mean, okay, fine. You know, we'll you said that's a town hall. The next one's a town hall. You said. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. What I I'm would say to him. What I would say to him is, okay, if you're not going to show up, fine. But if Biden will, we'll just hold a debate with him alone, and let him have the hour and a half to make his case to America. So if you don't want to do it, you know. How about you, Bree? What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, put them in separate booths, and <laughs> you have a timer, yeah. on, you know, one of those clocks, and uh, as it, you know, it, it's green, then it turns to yellow, then at red it cuts the mic off, and it and then goes back yeah. to the moderator. So yeah, either even that, if they say something, yeah. you or, or a second that. way would they be to put gesture them, and if, it, put I don't them, know if the put them camera bo- wants to show them, that's fine, but. Yeah, but maybe put them both in a booth, okay, and then uh, you have two minutes to talk, and if they go over, all of a sudden they get water dumped on them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or we just have them light up, you know, the, experiment. that booth they will light up and they can talk? Yeah. Mm, they have that little shock button. Mm. The moderator has a little shock button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did what did you think of the of the debate the other night, Bree? You haven't been on since the debate. Yeah, uh, I did watch a lot of it, um, probably at least 35, 40 minutes before well, I could remember. He's in Kuala Lumpur, um, think, so you know. Yeah, go ahead. It was morning time. Yeah, I just had my breakfast, and uh, I didn't lose my breakfast, but almost. Um, I think Trump won uh, in terms of the way that these things are measured nowadays. You know, uh, you know, it used to be that substance actually mattered. You know, but you know, let's face facts that even even so, they've been you know, they're mm-hmm. kind of boring. So yeah. Trump tries to live, and Trump sees everything as a television show. You know, it's all part of. Uh, yeah, he's just trying to keep the ratings up. You know. So, but he he looked more tan. I mean, he had his orange tan on. He was more assertive. Um, he seemed to be more. Uh, he was, you know, he was he was Trump. But so he I was purely. He won, but but I think the, problem, the problem the problem was Biden. Yeah, yeah, Biden was what? What what, what about Biden? Biden was. Um, he was trying his best, but it was an onslaught. And I think that he, again, I've always made this case, I'll say it again, don't go in the mud pit with the pig because the pig is happy and you get muddy. And all those debates, all the debate is, it's saying to Biden, you you must go in the mud. We want you in the mud, get in the mud. And I, I just disagree with that premise. Well, he, I think Biden was trying his damnedest to stay out of the mud. I think there was a point at which he couldn't take it any longer, and neither could the public watching it, you know. I mean, let's face it, Trump was just purely rude, you know, uh, making faces every time he would say something, you know, doing, trying to upstage him. Uh, and uh, I, I yeah. just didn't think it, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I think Trump came off looking badly. I think the only problem is, is, as you say, in order to even survive in that situation, uh, he had to uh, he had to kind of get down in the mud with with Trump for a couple of seconds there and say, "Come on, man, shut up." You know, I mean, it was like he was so frustrated. But I and I also think that. Uh, Biden didn't take certain opportunities that were offered him, like when he went after uh, Bo, uh, what's his name, uh, Biden, uh, Hunter Biden, uh, when Trump brought up the fact, oh, he got uh, he got dishonorable discharge, uh, which he didn't, according to Biden, and he said, no, he didn't get a dishonorable discharge, but I think it's terrible of you when you talk about people who are in the service as suckers and losers and so on, because. Both my kids were in the military. 
But what he should have said was about Hunter, but he's, then he said Hunter had a problem. Hunter was, had a drug problem, which I thought was a very mm-hmm. interesting thing to say because he, he wasn't holding back uh, on something that people don't know mm-hmm. already. And he said, but he's taking care of it, and he's on the mend, and everything is fine. And then what he should have said was, but he served in the military, which you didn't. Both my sons served in the military, which you didn't. And I don't know what Trump would have said to that. I don't think he would have had an answer for it. You know, he would have done a little smirk, and that would have been it. We just lost Bree. Wow. We but you know what, too? What he yeah. could have said, Biden, when I was sitting on the couch watching that at that point, mm-hmm. I would have told Trump, there's a lot of people out here who have drinking problems, drug problems. So what do you, you should be showing compassion, not taking somebody apart. Isn't that presidential? Well, I mean, he wasn't his yeah. older brother an alcoholic, Trump? I thought he was. Yeah, yeah. But he was, you know, um, um, uh, Biden looked very hurt. By the comments about it, because that's a low blow. Somebody in your family or a friend. Well, I, you know, it, you know, it's like the mob. You remember what they used to say about the mob? They used to say, "Okay, you know, we fight with each other, but never family." Well, that should be the case here too. You just don't go after the family. Those are the kids. You know, maybe he did something wrong. You know, uh, but you, you don't go after the kids. And uh, uh, in fact, you know, did Biden go after Trump's kids? You know, God knows could, they've got enough to go after. And yeah. he could even said this to, to, to Trump. I mean, I'm not going to be hypocritical. He could have said, you shouldn't be giving advice at anything. You were married four times and failed four times. All of a sudden, you're the master of etiquette? And he's been ma- married three times. He's failed oh, twice. Oh, and he's absolutely. failed twice. Oh, okay. But it's almost like, so he's been, I, I mean, I, I, mean don't want, I mean, you don't consider the current jo- uh, marriage a failure mm-hmm. till it's over. But then again, I think he should already consider this marriage a failure. So, you know what it is? Trump is such a bad guy. It's almost like you. Really, I really want to see Biden just really. I hate to say it, punch him. It's like you just you can't take that smugness on him. Well, he's he, smug. Yeah. You know, it's after a while. It's like, don't you really want to see him taken? Like, let's be honest. And I can ask everybody on the board here. Mm-hmm. If he got sick with COVID tonight. And they wheeled and, and that's a possibility. Let's be honest. Wouldn't you just sleep a little better? I'd stay up all night hoping for the news. Just because he deserves it. I mean, I hate to say it's mean to think like that. But he's, it's his arrogance. You just don't like You can't root for him. You can't root for somebody like that. It's like somebody in my family. I'm not going to name names. I don't wish anything on anybody. But there's certain people you would never lose sleep. Well, yeah, uh, the, and, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, because you're the... Mm, mm, Somewhat the expert on this whole COVID thing, okay? The more so than I am, more so than anybody else on the panel. Um, uh, it, 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 now I forgot what I was going to ask. Uh, boy, that's weird. I had a question all lined up, and in prepar- in, in parsing it, I uh, I completely lost the question. Uh, but. Uh, uh, Oh, boy. It was something about if Trump got it, blah, 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 would blah, 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 blah. And like, but, I, but, they, but they've been, if, if so, they've been exposed maybe since Monday, at least by Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And they're in the, they, they keep they keep showing them going into the, the Marine One, you know, the helicopter. Yep, that's where Those she was. Those guys are close. Yeah, Those oh, guys yeah. are in there packed in for a while. And, and did they and, go in wearing masks? Nope. They showed Trump go in first, no mask. And they showed Kushner with, that one weird guy and then her and like three other people. So they're in there. I mean, they're all, it's not like a, not like an airplane where they're, they could be separate, but you know, they're in there together talking. This is an advisor, not just there for the ride. Yeah. So you know, they're all talking over each other and this, everything's going everywhere. Spit's going everywhere. Well, you know, what, you know what is just so vexing to me is that when it comes to this COVID thing, it is so easy to clear it up. Just wear a mask, everybody. Put a mask on. I know you hate it. I hate wearing a mask, <laughs> you know. But I I go out and I wear a mask. And whenever I pass somebody who isn't wearing one, guess what I do? I put my hand over my mask. 
So we Give have me. we have about a thousand people in Sunnyvale in Sunnyvale factory. Yeah. And the two buildings we probably I think we have seven hundred people. And those are even now after COVID sort of separated about three hundred have stayed home. Yeah. But we have about seven hundred people that are working you know twenty four seven. They're very close to each other, but they're wearing because we we mandated masks months ago. And then also going into the clean rooms are always masked up. We've only had two people that I know, and I know because they, they've announced it to the upper management, mm -hmm. only two people. One person was at the very beginning of March, mm -hmm. and then another person was like in May. And we have not had anybody else come down with that. We've had people in and out of there, temps and everything, and no, no one's come down. Well, correct we, me we, if I'm masks. wrong on this, but if you wear a mask and the other person is wearing a mask and one of you has COVID, Neither of you are going to catch it from the other one. Yeah, shouldn't get it. Shouldn't get it. You're talking into that and all your, all your, the spit, the large enough spit that is having any of that bacteria would be stopped or the virus would stop. Wouldn't yeah. Go through that. So if everybody, in, in, if everybody in America just, you know, for a month said, okay, anytime I go out, I hate it, but I'll wear a mask. I think we could probably kill this thing because it wouldn't have anywhere to go. They you know. show that you know the meme with the two guys and the guy, they're both wearing no pants and the guy pees on one guy, you know, and then the guy has one guy has pants on and he pees on the other guy and the other guy, but they both have pants and they both pee and nobody gets touched. I know you're not going to be able easy. to necessarily see this, but I got this today in the mail and so I put it on my Facebook page, and so everybody can see what it is. Let me uh, let me, and then I'll leave it on long enough so if you're if you have your computers on and you can see it, uh, this is uh, this is a, this is an ad for the new Borat movie. Okay, <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah. Wear a mask, save live. <laughs> and he's wearing a mask to hide his junk, as it were. I love that. I think that's just terrific. That's 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 as good as it gets. Okay, so. Oh, well, there we go. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I, I thought people would enjoy that, so I thought I'd put that up there for you. But yes, uh, Charlene. Can I be annoying and add something, Alex? Sure. There is, there's a gentleman, and I don't know his name, but he's like uh, part of uh, the medical community, and he said that he believes that wearing a mask is actually more beneficial than the, uh, the you know, the shot that the they're vaccine. coming up with. Yeah, yeah. no, that's the vaccination, that was Redfield right. said that. And he yeah, was before, so sorry, that was annoying. He was before Congress, and he said, he said it, and it's a, a mm. perfectly decent statement. That, oh, that if we didn't, if we all wore, that if he wore, if he prefers to wear a mask to, get, to getting the vaccine, that it, both are, the, va the mask is more effective than the vaccine. Right. See, any vaccine right. they come up with is only going to be 50% effective. The masks are almost 100% effective. Right. It, it would help quicker. Quicker than the vaccine would be coming in, we'd be... Yeah, but I, you know, I, 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 don't, I just don't understand why people don't wear the mask. I mean, what's the problem? What is the problem? You know, and in my neighborhood especially, the, the number of people without masks is ridiculous. And I, you know, I walk by them and I go like this, and they don't even, they don't even flinch. They, it's not like they get the message, you know. Um, do you go out often, Charlie? You say you kind of stay home, right? Yeah, I, I just go out to go to the grocery store or go to the doctor's office. That's the only time I ever go out. Really? Yeah, I get my prescriptions delivered by mail. Wow. So you must have, how many rooms do you have there? Uh, it's a one-bedroom apartment, so I've got... I guess four rooms counting the kitchen. Wow. So you're, you know, here I've got a lot of room. So it's, you know, it's not that terrible. Uh, but I mean, like I have been last week or so, I've been having these uh, dizzy spells and so on. And I can't figure out why, because I don't have heart problems. I took my blood pressure. My blood pressure is, is fine, you know. And I finally to figure that it's just being indoors for six months, you know? I mean, yeah, I went out today and I took a, a mile and a half walk, all right? Just to say I did something. But barring that, I don't get out of the house. And, and after a while, you just get, you start getting woozy. 
you know? So. And you're, and you're right in between some beautiful parks, and you don't take advantage. At least Charlie's got his bicycle back there, and he does yeah. his bicycle. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I, I, the park, uh, what I've done, I've been doing about two or three days a week. I have this thing called the Harlem Mirror, and it's a lake. If you look at a map of Central Park mm -hmm. in New York, up in the right-hand corner is this lake, and it's called the, the Harlem Mirror. And it's an artificial lake, but so is all of, uh, you know, all, all of Central Park. And um, I, I just get there and I just walk around the mirror and back home and when I'm through I've done two miles okay and that's good mm -hmm. a good solid hour walk you know uh, mm -hmm. and it's nice to be in the park but I'm getting tired of taking the same walk all the time there's another walk I could take up near Columbia University but I got to climb up these hellish stairs and uh, I don't know if I want to do that but uh, I could go up to this other park we have up this way, and I do that, and then I come back, but I don't go up the stairs and go into Columbia University. But it's pretty nice, too. So, I mean, we've got these areas, and there's enough space where I don't feel I'm, once I get to these parks, that I'm, I'm risking anything much. Hmm. Except that there are people not wearing masks again. And I'm just going, come on, get the message, you know? It would just be so much nicer if you wore a mask, you know? I mean, have, forget about whether you want to wear a mask or not. Show your respect for me, okay? You know, you're being disrespectful when you don't. Oh, we got Bree back again. What happened to you, Bree? Sorry, sorry about that, Alex. I, I'm just having trouble with the Internet this morning. Oh, well, that's um, a koala on poor Internet, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what I did? I, I, I just I go out and I have this app and I can buy certain amounts of data because the Wi-Fi at work, I don't know, I must be overusing my allotment or something. So I just went on the telecom and then I just said, give me unlimited. And then you can pay either 80 cents for the whole day at a lower bit rate or you can pay two dollars and get it unlimited, you know, fast. I did the light. It seems to be working. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know. So you're uh, worth eighty cents. But but you have you have poor reception. Spelled P U R. Okay. Let's see Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> yeah, poor reception. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, Charlene. Well, you know, Alex, I'm seeing people out here in New Jersey that are wearing those clear visors. Now, yeah. That's not good either, right? Like you should have a mask under the visor, right? Because just a clear visor, that's not much protection. Brian, right? what about the clear visor? A lot of people are using it, but they also say you should use a mask also with the visor. Yeah, under it, like yeah. 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 But I'm seeing people with just that visor. Yeah, I don't like think the visor alone nothing. will work. It, the visor yeah. alone may prevent you from spitting on somebody else, but you that doesn't mean well. that you can't still get something coming in from, you know, underneath, like yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, doctors wear those in in operating rooms to keep uh, blood away from them and so Batter, on and so forth it. but they still wear a mask mm -hmm. i had my, my, a dentist to my dentist the other day not the dentist that did the implant but my other dentist at the office she wears two masks she mm -hmm. wears a regular mask uh, on the bottom and then puts on an <laughs> n95 over it and i said why are you yeah. doing two masks and she says so you'll feel doubly safe you know mm -hmm. yeah i saw a friend of mine at work and i haven't seen him for a while since everybody's been dispersed. I saw him today, and man, he yeah. looked like he lost a lot of weight, and he was really pale, and he had two masks on. And I was gonna ask him if he was doing okay, but yeah, yeah. so I was sort of worried about him. What do you guys do there, uh, Bree, uh, so far as uh, masks are concerned? Is, are people wearing a lot of masks, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody wears a mask. Is, it, mean, the, is it the law there? Sake, even, even Marilyn Monroe is, is wearing a mask, you know? <laughs> yeah, <so. right. laughs> Uh, we have, uh, well, I mean, you just got to have hand sanitizer and a mask. Um, we, it, it's interesting because just in the last couple of days, a lot of the shopping malls are now reporting cases, um, but they're very careful. They say, well, this was, you know, the Nike store and that person was only, uh, you know, tap, uh, scanned into two stores. Those have been completely disinfected. So, uh -huh. you know, it's definitely around. 
but everybody wears mask. Everybody has hand sanitizer. You have to track and trace anywhere you go. Even coming into my office, I had to track and trace. When I go to lunch, I will track out of the campus into the mall, into what, the- what, what do you mean track place. and trace? In other words, what, do you, what does that entail? Their phones, right? It's, a, it's yeah. just a QR code. The Q, you just scan a QR code oh, okay. everywhere you see, go. See, what we some, got... What some we, of them are automated. What our, our state just initiated today, and I put it on and immediately took it off because I found it annoying because it told me I had COVID. <laughs> it said, do you have fatigue and do you have runny nose was the uh, uh, two of them. And I said, yes. And they said, you better check and see you don't have COVID. And I'm going, I don't have goddamn COVID. You know, <laughs> anyway. President Trump may have it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know, saw I, that, right? I, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is that um, um, we, he, it's a new app they have, and I'm sure they have it, I think, in South Korea is using it, the same thing, in which, in which you put it on your phone, and then when you come within six feet of someone else with the app on their phone, it co does some kind of magic in coordinating one with the other or whatever. And then if one of you comes down with COVID, they can then trace you because you've already gotten registered. But they're That's assuming right. that everybody's going to have this on their phone. But unless, if only, you know, 100 people have it on their phone or 2,000 people have it on their phone, it's not going to work. Yes, Charlene? You know, um, the restaurants now are going to have a policy, I heard, right, in New York. That when they reopen, if you're in the restaurant, they want to take all your information for tracking and no, tracing. No, they, they right? don't. They aren't going to. They have to. They, yeah, it's a law. They have to yeah, do it. Yeah. So that's going to be crazy. They have to have somebody do all this work now. They'll have to hire people, credit right? Credit cards. To track and trace, right? Your credit card's going to show it, too. But yeah. in case someone comes down with it that had been in the restaurant, they'll know every other person that was in the restaurant at that time. Well, right, what would be nice if everybody, I mean, I'll, I'll put this thing on my phone when everybody else does. But if I'm just right. going to have it and nobody else is going to have it, then what good is it going to do? Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, China mandated all that stuff, right? I mean, yeah. right, Marie, like years ago, didn't they mandate all the, they had the face, I mean, remember seeing like on 60 Minutes and stuff, like the face recognition stuff on everybody. And we're all, yeah. everybody's yeah, we, afraid that it's going to, well, uh, taking away my rights and all this stuff, but you have a pandemic like this and I think it helps. Me. Yeah, whether you have the app on your phone or not, you're traceable, you're trackable. Um, okay. As long as you have a SIM card in there and you, that SIM card, you have to pay, you're paying, you know, your, your bill for your smartphone. They got you uh, mm -hmm. all around the world. And we yeah. know this now. So, yeah. so they could, they could track it if they needed to, but. You know, the thing is, is if you think about it, I think COVID-19, you know, the U.S. and and perhaps others, it, if you think about it, it's 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 designed, it, it will just keep going. You can't, I don't think it will ever be stopped. I think we will just always be living with it. And it's whether or not we, we can, whether or not we can develop some sort of eventual uh, way to just deal with it. But I, I think it will always be there and it's, it's, it's the well, uh, way, it, sort it, of it, 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 calling the herd. Yeah, yeah, Cuomo said something. Natural selection. It, it, Cuomo said something, which is really, I think, uh, it was an important statement. And he said, we have these clusters, but if you don't go after the clusters, clusters can become community spread. And that's what you don't want to have happen. He said, to think that in these places like Williamsburg, those people don't come into Manhattan is a ridiculous theory, you know. So we have to make sure those people are protecting themselves and protecting us. And I just say that when somebody doesn't wear a mask, they're they're disrespecting me. Yes, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. You know, out here in New Jersey, uh, they say the biggest spreader is that they have these parties, like the the college kids have parties. Yeah. And the big thing in New Jersey is not that you know, like the way it is the Hasidic Jews in New York, certain pockets. It's that these people have these parties, like social. Like, you know, my neighbor had a big thing in their backyard, you know, the other day. Mm -hmm. And and that's the kind of thing that's going on. Like, you know, I guess they're going to try to do more about that. They've been, big, having, big they've been, having, they've been having they've been having get COVID parties. Yes. Right. In New yeah. Jersey, they yeah. have that the college yeah. kids. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Um, that reminded me that the, the, the in September after the colleges all went back and opened up. 
the 18-year-old uh, and 22-year-old age group has spiked 55% right. higher than COVID cases. They had a thing on the air today. Every day, uh, Nicole Wallace, when she finishes her show, call, does a thing called Life Well Spent or something like that. And it's about somebody who got COVID and died. And today it was a 19-year-old. Wow. Okay? Um, so for those people who say just kids don't get it, you know, that's what Trump said. Ah, they're tough. Yeah. The kids don't get it. <clears throat> kids die of it, okay? Mm -hmm. And if not, they get some lifelong diseases, which, of course, won't be covered by insurance because it's a pre-existing condition, which will be done away with by Trump if he has his way. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bree? Uh, if, uh, if, I'm speculating, but if Trump were to get it, like, and, and if Biden were to get it, and they're both in highly susceptible groups, <laughs> um, what then? You know, I mean, talk about chaos. Talk about just a, a total, Yeah, I mean, it, the, the the reality is, I, I mean, quite frankly, I, I, I based on you uh, media reports, and I know that's not the U.S. just seems to be in crumbles right now. It it just seems to have failed. It seems I like agree. a failed state. It seems I agree. like a failed state. Yeah, you've got. Uh, it fa well, Which is it's amazing. I feel safer where I am. Well, you know, I here, like here, I'm in a here was the thing I was going to bring up to Brian, okay, earlier, and then I, let me not try to explain it because I'll forget it again. But if we're going to talk about a risk group, people with comorbidities, a comorbidity on two legs is Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's what? He's fat. Mm -hmm. What else? What are some of the other comorbidities? Oh, over uh, over 70? Yeah, he's in the percentile, yeah. And we don't know what else because his doctor says he's the most physically fit, beautiful person he's ever seen. Yeah. You're going to tell me he doesn't have some other comorbidities? There's a possibility he had a minor stroke. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. if he gets COVID, his chances of dying are greatly increased by the fact that he's in that, that group. You know, now, I don't wish it on him. You know, I wish a bad, bad flu. I wish him to suffer with this thing. Uh, you know, but I don't want him, I don't wish him dead. I don't wish anybody dead. No. You know. Uh, he would, though. Huh? He would. He yes. would. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, my question is, you know how when presidents die, you've, how many have been around here when presidents died? You were here for Kennedy, most of you, right? Mm -hmm. And how many were here for, uh, who else died uh, in office? Nah, none of them died in office except for... I saw Reagan get shot that day on TV. I was watching the yeah. soap opera. Well, that. I liked uh, uh, Will Durst's line about, about him that uh, he didn't know, first he didn't know he'd been shot. And he said, between you and me personally, I'd like to have a president with a central nervous system. <laughs> I couldn't believe it that day. Uh, but anyway, what I'm saying Vermont is, what, what, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, he got, you know, somebody got he got killed, and they did like how many days of mourning, you know, in this country, the whole country came to a standstill yeah. over, over the Kennedy assassination. Mm -hmm. What if Trump died? Do you think this country would react that way, or do you think most people would go, "Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's go to the next one." I mean, I think oh, like would they lionize him? You mean like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think that's I would. That's a good question. Him. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I, I mean, it it it's it's just uh, um, uh, so I don't I don't wish him ill. No. You know, uh, I wish him just enough ill that he knows what it's like to get this thing and suddenly has yeah. a better respect for it. Because if he had said, you know, here in New York. Mm. It is actually against the law not to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. the, well, there is a, a something like, a, a, especially if you don't wear them in the subway, there's a fifty dollar fine yeah. if you don't mm -hmm. wear a mask in mm -hmm. the subway. Uh, and I don't know what the fine is, maybe twenty dollars or whatever, if you don't wear a mask anywhere or outdoors. And yet the, thing, is, the, thing, the thing that's driving Cuomo nuts is De Blasio, who's a stinking rotten mayor. Okay, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Doesn't do anything about the police. I saw. I have a photograph. I put them on my site of two cops standing on a street corner, no masks on. Yeah, the cops have no masks. Yeah, it's, this is why. What? This is why we're doomed. This it, is why it, we're doomed. It, it's not. 
it cannot be stopped. It's just going to keep it's going. It's not working. And it's there's well, no, no you, national plan. Do you know what it is? It's a system that has broken down because America has this attitude of every man for himself. That's you a know? Good point. And, and so when you ask people to wear masks, it, it just, it, you know, it's just a common courtesy. Right, that's it's yeah. it's like like saying thank you after somebody gives you something or helps you with yes. something or whatever. Yes. It's it's a common courtesy, and they nobody can get with. Oh, I'm not going to wear them because I have a. Con I saw some woman on television say I have a constitutional right not to wear a mask. What? Where in the Constitution does it say you have the freedom not to wear a mask? You know. It was good enough for the Lone Ranger. It should be good enough for us, you know. True. Even different kind of mask, but you know. I don't blame them. They threw them off the. I wonder if uh, this will have any effect on the election. Like if Melania had COVID, you know, and I, Trump can play a sympathy vote. I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm I'm sure he would use it to his advantage if he could. But you know, I mean, everybody's well, good going to go, well, how do you feel about it now, mister? It's going to be just a bad cold, hmm. you know? If, if Hope Hicks has it, she's confirmed. I, I don't know if that test is 100%. Oh, I think that President Trump will have been exposed to COVID-19. Well, he was. If, 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 if they both got in that helicopter, as Brian says, and you saw them go into that helicopter together without masks, then, you know, he's got a good shot at getting it. How does he always avoid yes. it, too? It's amazing. Well, because he's standing on a stage, and he's got people 20 feet in back of him and 20 he feet does. in front of him and nobody on this side, and he's mm -hmm. safe. He's in this bubble, okay? Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I noticed last night he, was at, he had some rally, and the people sitting in back of him, they had everybody wearing masks. You know, but then, of course, they shot the audience and nobody was wearing a mask. Yes, Charlene? Maybe As he took Trump that Russian vaccine. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he took the Russian vaccine. Could be. Could be. Yes. Uh, Sputnik. <laughs> Sputnik, right. Has uh, Trump, like, tweeted out or made any kind of statement yet? Because that's what I'm dying. I'm thinking I want to see what he has to say about this. He's well, going to get really mad if anybody asks him a question. Well, the good no, he, he's going he to say, that's it. a nasty question, right? He talked about it tonight. Did he? What did he, what oh, he did say? What did he say? <clears throat> yeah, he said, oh, well, I guess she came down with it. Oh, I took a test. So I guess I'll see results tomorrow morning. Oh, I guess this. I guess that. But yeah, he did talk. Are you ready for this? This is what it says. This is what it says. On, it. Here's the headline right now mm -hmm. on Drudge. There it is, oh, folks. I'll, it. I'll, I'll show it to the audience. Trump in quarantine. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. White House virus nightmare. Top AIDS infected, question mark? Yeah. Okay. Because that's the protocol. I, I posted yeah. it in the chat. The protocol. In the chat. Hmm? What? Even before I think they they're all going to get it. Yeah. What Even you... before they have results, they have to go through the protocol. So that's their protocol. They're yeah. together. Kirshner, all of them who are in that, that the helicopter need to be quarantined. Somebody posted, looks like Hope Hicks. Hope Hicks might be eligible for the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> <laughs> that's Scarfy, right? That's it. <laughs> oh, that's not Scarface, is it? Who, that's true. <laughs> was this, this wasn't in our chat, was it? No, no, no. This is on no, Facebook that we posted. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Oh, that is the Scarfy, Hope Hicks? What? No, 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 no. Scarfy. Scarfy uh, is, uh, uh, what's her name? The, uh, I just call her Scarfy. Yeah. I think. What? Oh, Burks. Dr. Burks. Dr. Burks. Oh, that's it. Burks. Yeah, yeah, I don't know wh whether I like her or not. She seems like no, she's just a toady for Trump. Trump. You know. Yeah. She has an office in the White House. You know. And she, I suspect that uh, we're going to hear something from that. You know, twenty years from now. What? Some somebody's going to write a book, and uh, well, I won't be around. So you tell me, tell me what you think's going to be in it now, okay? <laughs> I, I think there's there's definitely some. I mean, come on, it's Trump, it's Donald Trump. You think that Donald uh, Trump? You think he's boffing just... Hope Hicks, right? Oh come on! I don't think he's boffing anything now. To be honest, no, with no, you. no, 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 no. Yeah, got it. Not even Melania. Yeah. He's smooching, you know that. So. 
That's what he's mm-hmm. quarantined himself from Melania years ago. <laughs> There's nothing going on there Clinton with them, right? Yeah. Trump can do it. Yeah. So anyway, so you know, I mean, I, I, I think it would be very hard. Huh? What? I think it would be very hard to, uh, pun intended, to avoid. I mean, it's Trump. It's Donald Trump. I mean, you know, this guy, if he's like something and something's available to him, you know, he eats a ton of McDonald's French fries. He loves the McDonald's. Well, the, chan- the chances are a good, there's a good chance he could get it. You know, now, whether he gets it or not, I mean, what what are the chances if you're that close to it, Brian? Do you know uh, of being, of getting it? Oh, I I think, I think they're all, they're all exposed to it. 100%. Being in that helicopter and no mass are all exposed to Wouldn't it be to great? It, now now here, here's, here's what you're going to love. Mm. Get this scenario. He, 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 she has it. He was exposed to it. What does that mean you have to do? Tell him, Brian. <laughs> for two weeks. He's got to stay inside. He's got to quarantine himself for two weeks. Yep. There are only four weeks left till the election. You can't Sorry. do the debates. Huh? You can't do the debates. He can't do the debates. Oh, he can't go out on the road. He can't do any of that. Meanwhile, Biden's out there going. He could do the debates. Hey, wait, if Biden's he's in an isolation. Wait, he actually killed Joe Biden to win. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is isolation. some election. Yeah. If he kills Biden, if Biden actually, oh, crazy. This wait is. Wait a minute. How long? How hmm? long did Hope Hicks have it? Did Trump have it at the debate? And was we that why he was yelling oh, over wait, wait, Biden? Biden. Is is Biden. Wednesday. Yelling at Biden. Yeah, they said Wednesday they found out she, she had it, and she is symptomatic. So it's not like this one oh person that had it and has no symptoms. She had so symptoms. She got tested yesterday. She has it. She can be up to 48 hours before, which is Monday. She could have had it Monday. Biden could have it now. Biden could it's have it. Trump Biden had given a mask it to on. him. Biden had a mask on. They said, though, behind the stage, none of the Trump people had masks on, even though they came out with masks. Mm-hmm. But Inside Biden, but Biden happen. did have a mask on behind. Yes. He didn't okay. Pull it down. Remember, yeah, he's, but... remember, Trump even said that. Oh, Biden's wearing mask. I saw him with yeah. the most, the biggest mask I've ever seen. Yeah, he did say oh, that. That's no, smart. But that only protects <laughs> other people from Biden. Did, yeah, but uh, I'm when, sure when the people. Yeah, but I'm sure the people in Biden's entourage. I don't okay. think Biden was even near Trump, though. No, and I'm sure that if he, he was, went he into was the Trump, five feet of him on the stage. No, he wasn't. Oh, that was much oh, further. They were, they were oh, cool. Well, I've heard. Just I've remember, heard if you want to know uh, uh, the way you measure feet. the re- way you measure six feet, yeah. if you're six feet tall, just put your arms band out. That's six feet. Yeah. But is it, it's a lot farther. It's like thirteen feet that it can travel or something. Like three. Well, three or yeah, six but feet or but but uh, I think he was further than that. I think that looked to be maybe double that. You know. They were quite a bit apart from each other. Also, you don't think that you don't think that people in their camps were talking. Well, we'll find Any out. I, I doubt Maybe. it. I doubt it. Okay. Why? Why would? Him. Why would they be talking? What would they have to talk Trump to each other about? I haven't got time. Trump really. was shouting. Huh? Yeah. Well, anyway. Trump uh, was shouting. Oh, Trump was shouting. Yeah. He was making lots of lots of noise. Anyway, no, Charlene, the theme's playing. <laughs> We're going away now. Now, Hope Hicks is the hot press secretary, right? Well, I guess if you if you consider that hot, okay. Well, I don't know. Once she said you thought she was cute. Yeah, maybe huh? maybe that's a lesbian in you. Better than out, what's I her don't name? Know. Huckabee Sanders. Yeah. Okay. Right? All right. I got to end the show here. Jeff, thank you. Thank <laughs> hey, you. He, he, yeah. There are people who do just listen to this, so you know you don't just wave. You know, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you, Charlene, for being here. Tony, always good to have you here, and take care of your mother at the same time. That's uh, you know, it's nice that people have hobbies here on this show. It, with uh, 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 Bree, it's woodworking. I mean, it's wonderful. He made a spice rack the last time he was on with us, and then of course <laughs> Charlie Wallace. And thanks, Bree, uh, all of you. Uh, give a big uh, kind of wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye back. Okay, here we go. There goes our citizen panel. And they're out of here for the night. I'm out of here for the night too. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. 
uh, over most of this same gap net. Uh, he'll be taking calls via Skype. In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And be safe out there. And it's just respect for other people. Wear a mask, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>